It is currently Friday, June 29th, 2 p.m. That means that this is woefully behind, and that also um, means that I'm going to try and plow through this and keep whatever I get, mistakes and all. On Sunday, June 10th, I went to Arnie's in Pine Village with my friend Katie. Pine Village is a town near the Greater Lafayette area, and we were just kind of driving around and found ourselves in Pine Village and at the Arnie's in, in Pine Village. Katie told the guy working there that we were on our way to a wedding in Chicago from Florida. It's kind of a, a game that she likes to play. Uh, the guy ended up being really nice and told us the best route to take so we wouldn't end up uh, hitting any deer. On Monday, June 11th, the factory advised us that they were out of parts and so we are going to be out of work for a while. They told us that they might call us back when they have more parts for us to sort, so uh, as of that day, um, the factory job is over. So later that evening, I went to El Rodeo with Carolyn for a Mexican Monday, and then sometime later after that, is that redundant? I finished watching the movie Four-Eyed Monsters, which is about this couple who begin the relationship by not speaking and instead using art to communicate with each other. Um, so there was a lot of DV, you know, um, camcorder footage in there, and it kind of reminded me about this experiment, this project that I'm doing now. On Tuesday, June 12th, Angie was in town, and we went to Kanakazana for dinner. After dinner, we picked up Monsieur Ibrahim, an independent movie about uh, a Sufi Muslim who befriends um, a young Jewish boy. And it was a very enjoyable film. It's hard to really put my finger on what was enjoyable about it. I guess it was something about watching the kid deal with some of these adult issues and the somewhat serious ending of the film. Later that evening, I went to Jake's to meet up with Christine, but ended up talking to Samaya and some of her friends about pleasure. Uh, and then after they left, I went to meet up with Christine at Pete's for open turntable night. There weren't many people there, but it was still very enjoyable for me. It was probably one of the best kind of events that I've been to here in Lafayette. They spun some uh, hard drum and bass, so that was quite enjoyable for me. On Wednesday, June 13th, I went to another temp agency to do some testing. And then after that, I worked on a DVD for my father as a gift for Father's Day. On Thursday, June 14th, I went to have a root canal and I was really dreading this procedure because I was afraid that it would hurt a lot and that I would be in a lot of pain afterwards. But the procedure wasn't real, was really not that bad at all. The dental assistant was very adamant that I not experience any pain. Um, so it was nothing like I was expecting it to be, which was um, a very enjoyable surprise. Later that evening, I had my atheism discussion group and we talked about uh, the place that religion conflicts with science, which I argued is in ways of knowing and how religion also offers um, this other aspect, a set of values that science is not able to clearly articulate uh, within itself, um, since science is basically just a tool, um, more specifically a way of knowing. And I further argued that um, to get these values that are missing from science, we have to rely on pleasure. On Friday, June 15th, uh, I went to Kokoro with Carolyn for one last dinner at uh, our favorite sushi place in town. On Saturday, June 16th, I had a few tears uh, because I was able to eat on both sides of my mouth without any trouble. Uh, my father ended up calling that day because he got my DVD, but he wasn't uh, quite sure how to access some of the material, um, which was 
kind of ironic because I'd given him this humorous Father's Day card about um, being happy about being the father of a son who was um, skilled with technology. Carolyn came over later that evening and we ended up catching some random fireworks. I'm still not sure where they were from, but our best guess is that they were from the Taste of Tippecanoe. On Sunday, June 17th, I went to Kinko's with Carolyn for her to print a copy of her thesis. And later that evening, I finished uh, this yaoi uh, Japanese anime called Papa to Kiss in the Dark. Um, yaoi is about, usually about uh, these same-sex relationships or same-sex uh, sexual activities between men, and this particular one had this strange incest theme going on. So it was very interesting to watch that. On Monday, June 18th, I went to get my permanent crown put on, and that was actually a more discomforting experience than it was to get my root canal. I went to Moe's later with Carolyn for our last Mexican Monday, and later that evening I went over to Carolyn's uh, to watch her pack. It was funny to watch um, her pack while Katie gave her advice on what she was allowed to keep and what she had to get rid of. On Tuesday, June 19th, I went to Goodwill to drop off several bags of t-shirts that I haven't worn, um, some I haven't worn for at least three years. Uh, I also picked up several crates from Staples to use as this mix between modular bookshelves and um, storage materials. Uh, later that evening, I tried out this recipe that is supposed to be a rendition of the Olive Garden's Toscana soup, and I was really pleased with how that came out. It came out much better than my uh, chicken with rice recipe did. It was very close to uh, the taste of the Olive Garden dish. Uh, it's, actually, it's even difficult for me to say which one is better, um, but I was, I was very pleased with that. On Wednesday... June 20th, I had a filling and they drilled really close to the nerve and it was very painful, again much more painful than the root canal I had done. Uh, shortly after that I went to um, this the scary Chinese place in town for a last meal with Carolyn before she leaves town and I leave Lafayette to go to Urbana Champagne next fall. Later that evening my tooth was hurting so I tried to nap and then I wasn't able to sleep and so that threw my sleep off. On Thursday, June 21st, um, I got re-addicted to Warcraft. Um, not This isn't World of Warcraft, this is the older Warcraft and so I played a lot of that throughout the day. On Friday, June 22nd, I met up uh, in the evening with Samaya at Hunter's Pub and we talked some time about polyamory and I talked about cross-cultural differences and the limits of um, the, the limits in place as far as the experimentation that we're able to do on ourselves. Uh, we also talked a little bit about determinism. Um, I'm a determinist and so I was trying to uh, defend or articulate that position even though I bracket it off and don't really consider it to be that important, especially since so many people agree with uh, aspects of determinism like socialization and things of that nature. After Hunter's Pub, I listened to um, Keith and the Girl live. I uh, spent a long time listening to that. Sorry, a window popped up. And on Saturday, June 23rd, I went to, uh, I forget the name now, but it was a, a chocolate place in town for Suzanne's 25th birthday party. We had uh, chocolate fondue, and so that was pretty great. Um, but one of the highlights of that particular event, uh, Suzanne had just gotten engaged a few hours before that celebration. 
so she was really excited and teary-eyed about that. Later that evening, I tried to stay up as long as possible, either in an attempt to reset my sleeping cycle or at least roll it so that it would get closer to where it should be. 